I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good, good day, Elise and Larrick. How are you? Good. good. How are you? We're good. Thank you so much for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder Beebe Show. Yeah, it was a and long I'm thing so ride. excited to talk to you two rising Hollywood stars. Oh, oh thank you. I know. Doesn't that feel good when someone says that? Oh, no, there's truth to it. <laughs> He's like, I've heard that three times already. Just every, every, every day. I'm yeah. sure you guys get up every day, look in the mirror, and say, I'm a rising Hollywood star. Oh, I'm oh. sure you do that. No. Uh, I say, Lyric, maybe. <laughs> Lyric, maybe. I say, I'm Well, you guys, I'm I was told, was talented, <laughs> attractive, smart, and doing extremely well in your career, yeah. and doing Shoot the Messenger. Yes, yes thank you very much. Sure. And we're having a lot of fun doing it. And uh, we hope that you all enjoy tonight, uh, Monday night. <laughs> Okay, that sounds good. And if you don't mind, Eric, I'm going to start with Elise because women are always first in my world. Women are Ooh, awesome. Awesome. Yes. And I'm a <laughs> first. I'm a and I, I see you agree with me. Elise, shoot the messenger. How much fun is this? Oh, it's, fanta it's fantastic. I mean, it's a really smart, fast-paced intricately woven, sexy, hot, sexy and hot, you know, uh, show that uh, I think really requires a lot of attention from the viewer. It, it, it demands a smart audience, which, you know, today I think, I think audiences are getting smarter and smarter and this show holds up to that. So it's a pretty uh, fun ride and it was really an awesome thing to be a part of and so relevant to where we're at right now in our political climate with, you know, this whole era of fake news and, you know, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, I agree. I agree. It is <laughs> Mary, like, yeah. okay, tell me about your character and tell me about, you know, uh, the uh, being surrounded by Shoot the Messenger. How, how do you make this work? Um, by keeping it honest, keeping it real. Um, Kevin Lutz is the type of character who is a no-nonsense type of person, and uh, he just wants the facts on what he's what he's dealing with. And when something doesn't really smell right, he he's he's gonna get down into it and figure out what it is and kind of remove it. And so, uh, being the lead detective in this um, murder that Daisy has witnessed um, is intriguing uh, in the sense that there's a relationship. Uh, between the two of them, a sexual relationship between the two of them. And so uh, you're intrigued by how things are going to unfold, seeing that uh, you got to go into detective mode and she's somewhat in victim mode, but she doesn't want to be a victim because she has a job to do, which mm -hmm. is to unfold or uncover this 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 so-called murder. Um, so it, it's intriguing that way. And it's also complex because there's emotions involved and you don't want to go one way and being too sappy and you don't want to go the other way and being too cold and just saying that I'm a cop. And so, you know, the, the, the di that dynamic was interesting because uh, you want to you want it to be as authentic and as real so people can relate. And um, and I think we did a good job with that. Well, we like watching you, so we think you did a good job, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, Elise. Uh, um, with all the you, you, this contemporary um, drama that that's unfolding as real life unfolds, mm -hmm. what do you see that maybe you could find for your life to live your life better? You're doing it on yeah. you, you know you're doing it in front of the camera. It's unfolding for real. A lot of it. How can you make your life better yeah. so that the audience can see something in it for themselves? Well, I think. You know, with with all of this stuff around fake news and having obviously 
played a journalist and having a greater understanding around that. I think one of the things that I've really learned to do in the past year is to think for myself, to not take everything I read at face value, um, to, to really discern what I feel is true. Uh, because it's really easy to get caught up in hype and in drama and things that are just irrelevant. So, so yeah, I think for me that's, that's kind of one of the things is to, is to, is to think for yourself. Especially with social media. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I, be, I believe yeah. I believe that's an undervalued uh, wealth tool in our society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we all want to be a part of. Uh, we all want to be a part of the the, the social media um, community. Um, we all have accounts, and we all, you know, can chime in and say whatever we need to say, and the world sees it automatically. And so you want to you want to be a part of that. And 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 and, and the danger in that is forgetting sense of self and. And understanding who you are and what is your truth and what you understand the truth to be so uh, it, it is very easy to get caught up in all of that and to just jump on the bandwagon and to just believe everything that you you read or see which is why fake news is so prevalent mm -hmm. right now and, and and such a dangerous you know uh, place right now with uh, with information